Hello friends, I am Dr. Sarika. In the previous video, we have uh, seen that uh, how ca we can differentiate between a case of syncope and seizure. Now, this video is related to another aspect of the syncope, uh, that is the red flags in syncope. That is when we should have a uh, alert in our mind that yes, this particular child needs detailed evaluation by us. So, uh, uh, because why this is important to know about the red flags because many of the times syncope is the presenting feature of some uh, serious underlying etiology some cardiac cause some arrhythmias or uh, other some neurological causes so only if we have in mind the red flags then only we will be able to think that and we will be able to evaluate the patient in detail so what are those various red flags related to syncope so most of the time uh, uh, the syncope happens uh, in prolong on prolonged standing so if a patient has syncope or faints uh, in recumbent posture then certainly you should have an uh, uh, alert in our mind and we should evaluate some cardiac or neurological cause if syncope happens during activity or exercise then certainly it's not normal and it is pointing towards uh, uh, a etiology related to heart so uh, there may be coronary obstruction there may be arrhythmias which may present as syncope during activity or exercise then uh, in vasovagal syncope you know very well that there is a prodromal phase when patient feels light headedness uh, uh, a racing heart sometimes may be there or patient feels diaphoretic uh, then uh, that prodromal phase if it is missing then patient is not able to uh, prevent the episode or he falls uh, the the time he develops the uh, abnormal uh, the problem in his body like arrhythmia so any any uh, thing that is precipitating the syncope if happens abruptly without prodromal phase then uh, that again needs an evaluation so if patient is not having pre syncope or patient is not having light headedness then you should evaluate the patient in detail then on family history if you find that there is uh, a person suffering from syncope in the family or if there is drowning because if arrhythmia occurs during drowning then certainly uh, the accident happens and if there is history of sudden death or there is history of cardiomyopathy or familiar ventricular arrhythmias in the family then uh, certainly patient needs evaluation for the same conditions then any episode of syncope if that particular episode required cardiopulmonary resuscitation then evaluate the patient so that you can prevent the death then if there is history of dyspnea or palpitation uh, preceding the episode or patient is having dyspnea then certainly it needs a more cardiac evaluation uh, for the syncope then uh, many times patient is having history of uh, cardiac surgery there are few surgeries uh, which i am giving the example of which can uh, present as syncope the complications of those surgeries can present as syncope like uh, if patient has been operated for tra uh, transposition of great arteries uh, the sending and mustard or mustard operation has been done on the patient then there are chances of uh, sinus node dysfunction then if patient has been treated for uh, or operated for tetralogy of fallot then there are chances of development of ventricular tachycardia if uh, uh, septal defect repair has been done then there are chances of uh, syncope because of late development of av block so if uh, if there is any history of cardiac surgery then evaluate the patient thoroughly then uh, you know very well that uh, kawasaki disease uh, there is a complication of kawasaki disease when the, uh, where there are formation of uh, coronary aneurysms so uh, certainly you should ask in detail because Kawasaki disease is mostly seen in patients of uh, age group of 2 to 5 years it's a young child so and patient has presented to you late then certainly the past history becomes very significant here then if patient is having implanted pacemaker then chances of lead failure placement uh, pacemaker lead failure is there so again there a patient needs detailed evaluation then on physical examination if some abnormalities are there like uh, if murmur is there galop rhythm is there ejection systolic murmur or systolic click is there apical impulse is prominent 
irregular rhythm is there there is hypo or hypertension loud or single s2 which indicates the uh, primary pulmonary hypertension there is clubbing or cyanosis then again it's an indication for us that this patient with syncope having these findings or having the uh, history uh, related to something uh, bad uh, we should go for evaluating the patient in detail so that we can prevent the death we can save our child thank you so much